Hello and welcome to Cooking with My Pickle, Chef Ivan Flowers from gorgeous, beautiful San Diego, California. What are we going to do today? This is part of our Crooklyn, Crooked, Crooked, crook my beautiful wife Tracy, the audience behind the camera. This is the Crooked Wiener Burrito. And what makes it crooked? When you come home and you, you, you're drunky. It's drunk cooking. It's drunk it's cooking. Crookie. No flame. No knives. No heat. No knives. This is you coming home at 3 o'clock in the morning, looking in your fridge, and you're hungry because the pizza place is closed. But first, the pickle. You think she's going to like this? Yes, I think she's going to love it. She's a little bit of a wiener. <laughs> this is the stuffed pickle. What do you think? I think she likes it. She saw the hot dog. She saw the hot dog. That was it. That so, was it. We wash our hands. Soap and water. We'll take a towel. Now, <clears throat> I'm actually having some wine. I'm not drunk, but why should you be the only one that's drunk or you're allowed to drink? So I'm drinking wine during this. Why? Why are you drinking wine? Yes. Because if there's drunk, crooked. yeah, you're crooked. First thing we're going to do, we have two flour tortillas, okay? Really giant ones. Big ones. Remember, there's no heat here. Microwave is acceptable. No flame, no knives. No flame, no knives. <laughs> I haven't even had that much wine. I just want to get them pliable. Into the microwave. 30 seconds? If, yeah, if that, yeah. If that. You don't want them to get, if you go too long, they get hard. Yes. You just want them a little warm. Yes. Because so, they're going to go back to the microwave with them, so you don't want to microwave. Warm. It's the entropy, the molecules, they go like that, that creates heat. I think if you were drunk, you could probably explain that to me better. <laughs> ah, perfect. So, perfectly pliable now. Two beauties. Save this. Okay, I'm going to overlap. One. Right on the counter. Right on Pickle. the counter, not Pickle. even the board. That is very clean. I would say I'm a third in. So here's one, and I'm going to go this part about a third in, okay? Okay. It's going to give me a nice surface. Sweet and spicy black bean hummus. No, what else can you use? Regular hummus. Hummus. Um, if you have a, a, a can of, of uh, refried beans, refried you can beans. use a can opener if you're drunk, I would consume, right? Cream cheese? Of course. Velveeta? Well, you're already putting uh, cheese, yes. cheese, well, nacho cheese sauce, you want extra cheesy, right? Sure. So we do a nice spread. Now I stay in the center and I leave about two inches on each side, okay? So I'm going to roll them. About how much do you, did you put on there? Exactly? I probably put on four tablespoons. Okay. Because we want this margin on the side to fold, okay? American cheese. So never put this on the counter because it's like a suction cup. You'll never be able to get it up. Ooh. Why are you ooing? The beauty One. of the cheese slice? I love this stuff. So you're using four? Four slices. This is why France hates this, by the way. But you can use any kind of cheese, as oh, long yeah. as it's already cut. Because you can't use a knife. It's ever in your fridge that's cut. American provolone, smoked mozzarella, if it's already Or shredded, sliced. shredded Shred mozzarella. Cheddar. Boom, right there. Okay? The doggies. Here come the doggies. One. I say two. And then two in the front. Wow, you're going to do a quadruple so for hot the, dog yes. burrito? Perfectly. That's a lot of hot dogs. Ratio. It'll work. All right. It'll work. We want some macaroni salad. Why not? Now, how about if you had leftover macaroni and cheese? Absolutely. Potato salad? Yep. Oh, absolutely. What else? If you didn't have any of that, would you just use mayonnaise for the creamy element? You could. And a little relish for the sweetness? Because sure. this is a slightly sweet macaroni salad, correct? Yes. And remember, this is commercial brand. You didn't make yes, it? I didn't make it. It's the best. <laughs> and put it in that fancy little plastic container? It's the best. Some pickle slices. Dill, right? These are dills. I'm going to kind of go right in between the hot dogs in that little space. Because you want pickle in every bite. Pickle in every bite. Hence the pickle. 
Go right in. Okay, beautiful. You're sniffing like Trump at a debate right now. What's going on? Oh, it's hot. It's very humid in San Diego. <laughs> so you get a little... And then... Ketchup. If you want mustard, it's up to you. A little bit right on top. Scallions? What do you think? Yes. A little oniony element. Right on top. But they have to be already chopped. Right. So if you have like chopped onions or something in your fridge, then feel free. If you don't, then omit it. Yes. We don't want you going to the emergency room. We want to feed you. No. Now, now, this is the hard part. Keep your fingers crossed. We're live. We're going to come up. We're going to go over. We're going to go over. Yep. We're going to fold that towards the center. Ooh. We're going to kind of keep pushing in. Now, if I'm drunk, am I going to be able to do this? Yes. I don't know. Yes. <clears throat> Ooh, look at that. Now, I have a question. <laughs> when you put it in the microwave, could you top it with even more cheese? Yes. I would like that. When it comes to drunk cooking, there's, it's, it's an open plane. Okay, so. I would put it on the do. plate in the paper towel. We are. Okay. We're going to take the paper towel, and then we're just going to roll it. Okay? This is about two pounds, believe it or not. You want to you feel this? No. Okay. I trust you. In we go. <clears throat> what do you think, Trace? Two? Not two minutes? Yeah. I do a minute and, and check it. I think about two. What do you think you are? Some kind of chef? Yes. <laughs> I think about two minutes. But we'll see. We'll feel it. And it's about What two. was the craziest thing you ever made when you were drunk? Or, I know you ate Chinese, put Chinese in the closet, but what was the craziest thing you ever came home and made for yourself? God, um, that's a hard one. Uh, I think spaghetti pie. So I had leftover spaghetti, and I was trying to make a spaghetti pie at three o'clock in the morning when I lived in Manhattan. And then the flipping, you know, the part where you had to flip the whole thing was a little difficult. So spaghetti pie. Spaghetti so pie. hummus, scallions, macaroni salad, hot dog, cheese, um, dill pickle, ketchup. dill pickles, and ketchup. And you have one kick-ass burrito. So let's check it. It's and, you know, really, if you're on a budget, it's inexpensive. It is. Definitely at least two minutes. Okay? We're going to cut the burrito in half. You have a lot of satisfaction from saying that to me. Yes. <laughs> We're going to cut the burrito in half. Normally, okay, this is with no knives, no heat. But we no want to show you. No flames. <laughs> We're going to have a little more wine. So why did you start doing these series on YouTube? What's your background? I'm a five-star chef, um, French Escoffier trained, worked in some of the finest kitchens, ran some of the finest kitchens, and I want people to realize that anybody can cook. This is about technique. <clears throat> you fill in the rest. So I give you a picture frame, and in that picture frame is a lot of technique, and then you put your heart into it. There's a million things you can put in this burrito. I just want to show you things, and then you realize, you know, it's not like when you're a chef, there's only one way. There's everybody's way. So enjoy that and, and, and take comfort in the fact that everybody can cook. Okay. Even drunk people. Even drunk people. <laughs> so we're at two minutes. Does it feel heated through? Well, we want that cheese the to cheese melt. The cheese is melting. It's oozing out. I can see it. So yeah, I can feel it. It looks good. You Ooh. want to be careful when you unwrap it here. Oozy okay? cheese. And when you take a bite if you're drunk, you could burn yourself with the oozy gooey cheese. Yes. That's a good point. Okay, perfect, perfect. And fl I, you can do this with whole wheat, but there's something about a flour burrito that is so satisfying, would you say? Yes. Well, do you want to talk about what happened? Because you knew we had these hot dogs for this in the house? That I ate hot dogs last night? Yeah, on the white buns. Yes, on the white buns. I couldn't control myself. Yeah, I got them. Yeah. I got crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to cut. It is exciting. I'm excited. Oh, look at that. Oh, steaming. 
I have to tell you, the simplicity of this, I mean, this really is a delicious, you know, the heat is perfect. This is heavy. This is probably about 16 ounces right here. This, oh. So if you had a drunk friend, this is something you'd share with your oh, drunk friend. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at this thing. It looks delicious. I mean, are we... Yeah, I can see it. Are you there? Hold on. I got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that, baby. Too close. <laughs> Do we take a bite? I don't know if you... Are you going to take a bite after the hot dog escapades last night? No, I'm going to get pickle a bite. Yeah. But I can pick a piece of a hot dog. It's too hot for her. Yes. We'll get pick pickle maybe a little bit of the cheese. Yes, with a piece she of hot likes dog. The cheese. Oh, this thing is like eat me now. <laughs> All right, pickle. All right, you got it. I'm really proud of this. You know, I've cooked <laughs> some. <laughs> I've cooked a lot in my life, all types of food. But I, I have to tell you something. If you come home and you pull this off and you can, it's that easy. The no matter what your state of mind is. Of your, uh, culinary. Yeah. I just love this little thing. Okay, baby. Here she is. Here's the pickle. She doesn't understand drunk, but she understands uh, Doritos she and cheese. Put the little cheese down. Ah. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Daddy. So, let's recap. The crooked Wiener. Burrito. Hummus. Say wiener again. You say wiener. Wiener. Okay. Uh, black bean hummus. You can substitute. Franks. Ketchup. Vegetarian. Macaroni. Scallion. Omit the, uh, omit the hot dogs and make it vegetarian. Sure. It'd be just as delicious. Sure. Add some salsa in. Sure. Some jarred salsa. Again, yeah. it's, it's technique. So there you have it. It's delicious. It's easy. Have fun with this cook. Chef Ivan Flowers cooking with my pickle. I'll see you soon.